God has given me great opportunities in my life and I'm really, really grateful for that. And so I'm giving back to God by passing this on to others and opening doors for others. I think one of those future leaders will be Margaret because already as a finance director, I think the only way forward for her will be as a chief executive of one of the financial institutions. She's very passionate about her work, she's disciplined, um, she's got very strong beliefs and above all she's a visionary. She's one person who's got that um, motherly touch, I must say, uh, which makes any complicated situation simple. <laughs> Zimbabwe has been hit by serious macroeconomic challenges. But Margaret Chipunza, CFO of African Century, believes that smart investments can refuel businesses in her country. For me, it's not about the numbers only. Um, but I want to see people's lives changing. I want to make a positive impact in people's lives. That's what happened at the famous Lobel's Bread Factory, a company that almost hit rock bottom. We all grew up eating Lobel's Bread. To see that company almost going down just because of the challenges in the economy was very, very um, saddening, I must say. We've since financed Lobos with a new bread uh, manufacturing line, and, and it's been exciting to see the production go up. Um, and, and they're really back on the market, and, and I think the whole country is really excited about this. Margaret, I think she's quite excellent in whatever she does. She's not quick to speak. She listens and she really internalizes information. And you know, what comes out of her mouth is just, I don't know, it's just so wise. Humble, adaptable, and intelligent. Although Margaret is now a career woman who is on her way to the top, she will never forget her past. I come from a, a humble background. Um, grew up with uh, mostly my mom, and so I didn't always have everything I needed. Um, but that didn't stop me from achieving my dreams. Um, that didn't stop me from excelling. And so my conviction is that I need to pass on this message to other young people out there that you can still succeed despite having a humble background. Well, the dream was to share our lives um, you know, with young girls. So I just want to also just share with you some of what's happened uh, in my career. I know in 2012, Margaret started a mentorship program at her former high school to inspire young girls that they can have a career even when their starting point is not perfect. I don't think being a role model is about having it easy. I believe it's about going against the grain, against the challenges, and still remain standing after the challenges are over. I really believe that this is what, what's happened to me. I've, I've gone through many challenges in my life, but I'm here. I remain standing and firmly grounded.